Today I am at the beautiful Point Anne in the York Peninsula. I had to wake up at 4 in the morning um, for the drive because it's quite a big drive so it's about 8 in the morning and I am only just made it here. Uh, it did take me maybe like till 4.45 to get ready before I left the house um, but yeah the rest of that time has pretty much been driving apart from one stop for fuel and an attempted stop at the bakery and IGA but both it was too early for so um, that's okay thankfully I have a can of fish with me but wow it is a beautiful morning today and I've come out here to paint today because Adelaide today is meant to be 17 and rainy but out here it's 18 and sunny like part cloud um, I think it's just gonna be so beautiful already the day looks spectacular so let me get out and show you guys around uh, so that you can see the area because this is a really beautiful area that I've picked to paint today and um, yeah let's go look around this is my first look around at the area and you can see it is just such a picturesque little area it's so beautiful and I actually decided to paint facing this direction. So if anything is clear, it's that I underestimated how rough the wind would be. Uh, it has taken me quite a while to set up. I've, I've only just set up and it's about 8.45 now. Um, and that is because the wind is just ridiculous. Like I've had to be trying to like hold the, the easel down with my foot. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of holding the easel there and it's still blowing a lot in the wind. The tent is really blowing in the wind. So yeah, it's extremely windy here, uh, but let's hope I can still do a good painting despite the wind. This is the time lapse and obviously at the moment I'm just doing the drawing up. Uh, it's just a very rough sketch of the area um, and you can see how windy it is just by how much the tent is moving and the sea spray that's going up onto the cliffs in the background and how much the ocean is moving and the sky how fast that's moving um, now I'm just putting some color on the canvas and uh, starting to paint that um, but it is quite a challenge because of how windy it is um, so yeah I'm just trying to get some colors down and get it all started and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far um, but yeah, it was really very uncomfortable because of the wind and unfortunately that did mean that I did not actually complete this painting, but I might go back to it. Okay, so I think actually I'm going to have to move to the car because this is just so unpleasant. The wind is ridiculous at the moment and I'm just not comfortable at all. I've been, um, you know, trying to just like go with it, but the canvas is like rocking heaps. So I can't even hold the brush still. Um, so yeah, the, the wind is just ridiculous here. It's really beautiful, but yeah, the wind is just killing it. Um, so I'm thinking I might try and like maneuver my way into the car and like paint from there. I'm not sure. I don't know what else to do. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Cause yeah, this wind is just crazy. Um, I haven't done a lot on the painting yet, so it's uh it's just up to there um but uh yeah it's too windy i've moved into my car um but there's a few problems so my car it's sort of a medium-sized car it's not huge but it's also not tiny um but there's not really enough space um, in the car. But the the wind was just, I, I couldn't handle it. It was too much. Like the tent kept bashing against me like every two seconds. And uh, it was just, yeah, it wasn't great. And the canvas kept like moving back and forward in the wind and, and like I couldn't keep my hands still to do the brush because it kept getting like whacked by the, the wind. It was, uh, it was a lot of wind. Um, so yeah, I really don't know what a good solution for this is uh, because I really just want to be out there painting. I'm feeling so disheartened. I just, um, I don't know what to do. I, I really would love to continue painting, um, but I've got to try and work out a space solution within the car. Um, 
because yeah my palette is huge my canvas is huge and you know like uh, just where to put the tripod and all that I think I could probably make it work but I don't know it might take a little while and I'm really very tired uh, still from the drive so right now I'm I'm really struggling like I just I really want to paint here's my canvas and here's my palette um, but see the view is actually quite different from here the the angle of the view um, that's what I'm seeing so it looks kind of different um, and then yeah there's not like a lot of space as you can see so I've got to somehow work out how to make this work I'm thinking I might just start a new painting facing this direction because the beach looks really beautiful in this direction. It is just after 10 a.m. So I did get here around about 8 a.m. or like just a couple of minutes after. Um, but what's happened is I set up to paint and my tent was like blowing so much in the wind it was just unbearable and even the canvas was like trying to blow off the easel and i couldn't keep my hand steady because there was so much wind so painting was really just turning into a disaster and i was feeling so upset because it's just really beautiful out there so um i've come up with a solution it's not a fabulous solution but it'll do and i've decided to move all my stuff into my car um, I've given up on the painting that I was working on because even though I really liked it, the view from the car was totally different to the view from where I was sitting on the ground before. So I've just turned my car around, parked it facing the opposite direction, and I'm going to be starting a new painting. Here's my palette, and here is my canvas, which I'll be able to take down and paint. That's the view, uh, it's really pretty. Just uh, ignore the fence and the fence post and that random sign. We're gonna get rid of all of that in the painting and we're just gonna paint the scenery. Um, and I've got my tripod on the back seat behind me just there so that I can put this GoPro in there and take a time lapse. But it was really quite frustrating to set up. Um, and I don't know that this is the best solution, but this is the best that I can do. So um, I'm just going to get to and start painting and make a time lapse of this and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. One thing I am a bit happier about about moving to the car is that I'm able to use my cup holders to hold my linseed oil and my solvent. This is the time lapse of me doing the painting. So right now I'm just sketching it up very roughly, um, but it's enough for what I need. Um, and I'm painting this one on marine wood and... Um, yeah, I'm just sketching it up and now I'm going to start blocking in the sky um, because it was quite beautiful and blue in this direction and I wanted to make sure I got that in before it changed um, because on the in the other direction there was quite a cloudy sky um, which you guys might have noticed before when I was painting and it was windy um, but it was still like really nice uh, but now I'm I'm not quite sure if this counts as plain air anymore because I am in a car. I did wind the back window down a little if that counts, but um, anyway, uh, it was very beautiful there and I was happy to have found a solution even though it was extremely crammed in my car and kind of uncomfortable to keep reaching backwards to the palette to get new paint. And it was a bit harder to keep an eye on the GoPro battery. At this point, I was a little bit frustrated at how slowly the painting was going, so I made a decision to put linseed oil all over my canvas, and actually it was one of the best decisions that I'd made, and from this point forward, any paintings that I do, I do use this technique, because otherwise the wood just kind of um, takes all the paint and doesn't really budge. Also, when I got out of the car just before in the time lapse, that was because there was some fog on the window and I wasn't sure if it was inside or outside, so I tried to clean it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just trying to block in all the colors and you can see it's going much faster now that I've put the linseed oil down on my canvas. So I'm really, really happy about that. And um, I definitely have been using that technique ever since this experience. Um, and yeah, it was such a beautiful day there and I was really glad to have found a solution to be able to paint um, because, yeah, facing the other direction and having the, the tent and the wind and all that 
was really upsetting and um yeah being able to find a solution like this was fantastic even though it was crammed and uh yeah you can see i'm just putting some clouds in the sky right now i'm super happy with how this painting is coming along and how fast it's coming along um compared to before i i do occasionally look back at the gopro you'll probably notice in the time lapse and that's me trying to check to see if the gopro battery is still working um, but i did not do this frequently enough because as you can see it has jumped forward quite a bit and that's because the battery ran out and I didn't realize um, but yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying this painting I'm so happy about how it's turning out already um, and I'm feeling so much better at this point uh, than I was uh, earlier in the day and um, yeah I feel like I could have focused a little bit more on the shapes um, and got those a bit better and also the tones especially where the water meets the sand I, I wish I had have spent a bit more time there and like done some more on that on location um, because I feel like yeah I just I missed a couple of details and if I was to do it again I would do it a little bit differently um, I still think it's turning into quite a beautiful painting but um, yeah, there's some things that I can see that I would try and improve on next time for sure. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this time lapse so far. It was very enjoyable to paint, actually. I'm really happy with how this painting is coming along. So it's only been two hours and 45 minutes since I started. And honestly, it's really close to finished. Um, I am going to take a little bit of a lunch break and go stretch my legs a little because... Um, being in the car, it's quite crammed, uh, but I'm really happy about this painting. So this is how the painting is looking at the moment. As you can see, I just got to fill in the sand dune here and pop a plant in here. Other than that though, I think I'm really happy with it and there's not much that I would change. Um, I'm so happy with the colors and like, yeah, I feel like it does actually look like the scenery. Um, obviously the clouds have changed a little since I did this. Uh, because they're constantly changing um but yeah no i'm really happy with this i just gotta fill in this side but yeah as i said time for a lunch break now that my lunch break is over let's continue the painting um so here i am uh blocking in the sandy color behind the sand dunes uh before i put any details in there and now i'm putting some details it is a little hard to see what i'm doing i i realized uh Actually, a lot of the time, my body and my head is kind of blocking that part of the canvas. So this bit of the time lapse is probably not so interesting for you guys. Uh, I'm also putting some rocks in the water down here, um, just because I thought it needed some. Um, and there was a lot of rocks in the water, but they were a bit over further. So I just decided to creep a few in near that part of the shore. Um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed adding detail to the sand dunes. That was quite fun. Um, I did manage to get paint uh, nearly everywhere in my car, but that's okay because um, I, uh, I feel like that just shows it's an artist's car. And I really just enjoyed everything about this painting. Um, it was very, very fun to make. Uh, so yeah, I'm just adding some like little grass blades. Um, I don't normally go into this much detail when working on location. Um, but I just decided seeing as it was going quickly enough, I would add as much detail as I could. In total, I've worked on this painting for about three and a half hours. I'm feeling quite tired, um, just because I got up so early and it was such a big drive. So I'm thinking I'll kind of head back to Adelaide now. I'm really happy with where the painting's at. It is a much smaller canvas than the canvas that I originally started painting on this morning before the wind became too much. Um, but it's still a reasonable size. Um, I'm so happy with the painting. And yeah, for three and a half hours work, I think I'm super happy with it. Uh, I might, when I'm home, just add like a little bit more white to the waves. Uh, but I think that's something I have to do once it's dried a little, um, because otherwise it just might blend into the colors. I'll flip around the camera so that you guys can see the painting. I might just add a little bit more white to the waves along there because I feel like they could use a little extra definition. But other than that, I feel like it really does look like the location. 
Here's a bit of a closer look at the painting. So you can see the detail a bit better in this little bit of footage. Um, so this is three and a half hours on location and uh, it's looking pretty close to finished. I'm really happy with how it's looking. I'm on my way home and uh, I'm running a little bit later than I thought I would be because I ended up taking a two hour nap on the side of the road for a bit because I was extremely tired. But I've just stopped the car because I have to show you guys the sunset. It is so beautiful. Here's the sunset I got to see on the side of the road. It was so spectacular. I loved how bright the golds and oranges in the sky were and it was just really pretty out there. There was really nobody nearby and um, it was just really nice to stop and take a look at the sunset because it was just beautiful. And this is a bit further down the road, uh, a bit later. I pulled over again to show you guys the sky because it was just really pretty and it, it had changed quite a bit by this stage as well. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed watching the sunset on my way home. It really made the drive so much more enjoyable and it was just spectacular. Here's the time lapse of when I got the painting home and it was just a lot of reworking and touching up, uh, especially the water, um, well actually only the water, because a lot of the water colour had soaked into the canvas and you could see the marine wood through the water, which didn't really work with the shade of water that it was and how I wanted it to look. So I went through, I made the whites a brighter shade of white, which was my intention anyway when I was on location because it's easier to add in the brightest highlights when the paint has dried a little because um, you try and add a white over the top and it's never going to quite be white uh, otherwise and so yeah and then I had to make the watercolor a bit more solid and just do some subtle changes. A lot of these changes aren't particularly visible to the camera because they were quite subtle it was just a case of adding like darker blues and then like brighter greens and sort of trying to add some texture but without it being over the top because I had to keep in mind that my viewpoint for this painting was from on top of a cliff so the water from up there looks a lot flatter than if you were at the same level as the water so I had to add texture without it being too much texture and yeah, I was just really trying to refine the water because I, I wanted it to be a really beautiful painting and um, I, I do end up changing the shape of the shoreline uh, a bit later in this time lapse as well because even though the shoreline was like really like curvy and wavy, I felt like it didn't quite read right in the painting so um, I mean I, I should have probably done a better job on the shape of that on location but yeah I'm pretty happy with how the, the touch-ups to this painting are going and yeah, it's, uh, it's getting changed quite a bit. As you can see, I'm changing my mind and then reworking things and just trying to make it all a bit more natural looking. And uh, occasionally I look at a photo I took of it uh, when I was there, but I didn't really look at it that much. It was just in case I needed it. But yeah, there's a lot of very subtle changes happening and I'm just finishing up the painting and adding all the little extra details and fixing the shoreline and... Uh, that is pretty much the painting completed. I have just finished the painting. Um, I just kept going on the water and then I kept redoing it and redoing it. And then I was like, you know what? It's done. It's finished. I'm not going to touch it anymore because if I do, I feel like it's never going to get finished or it's just going to get like really overworked. Um, so I'll flip the camera around so that you guys can see the final product. This is it. This is my painting. Um, so you can see there's like a, a big sand dune back there and some clouds and then the beach comes around and there's some little tiny grass details, some rocks and another rock out in the ocean and uh, yeah, this is, that's the painting. Here's a photo of my painting and I, uh, I've included this because I feel like a photo helps to capture the colour and the detail a lot more accurately like in the video it feels like the details come out a bit blurry so um, this is just so that you guys can get a better look at it um, but yeah this is my finished painting and I'm really happy with this one well I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys again next time 
Bye.